Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brown Ells here, and today we've got another gun from the vault. Uh, right here we have an M249S, an FM. Uh, this is very similar to the military issue M249, uh, but semi-auto. So uh, today I'm just gonna run through some features uh, with you, how it functions, a few uh, neat things about it, what I like about it, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, this uh, machine gun, it was a squad automatic weapon, the SAW, uh, was adopted in the early 80s uh, by the US Army, US Marine Corps, and has served ever since. Uh, Marine Corps, it's been replaced by the uh, HKIR. Uh, but a few things on this one, it's meant to be at the squad level. Uh, it's lightweight, of course, feeds uh, 5.56 ammunition, which you see here belted up, these are inert, or, or it will feed from a magazine, an issued magazine, or in this case, a PMAG. Uh, a few features on it and how you operate it. It is, of course, belt fed, so it's not just throw a magazine in, charge it, and go. Uh, so right here you have the top cover, and your feed tray. If you're not familiar with uh, automatic weapons, uh, most are very similar to this, and it has, I'll flip it around here so you can see it. It has a feed tray mechanism very similar to a 240, or say even an MG42 going back that far. Uh, so to load it, uh, you simply would have your uh, belted ammunition ready place it over the feed tray. You can do this on the semi-auto version or the full auto version. Uh, on some previous machine guns, you had to have the bolt to the rear. This one, you can have it in either position. Lay it across, across the feed tray. Make sure your brass is down, so the open end of the brass is facing down. Brass to the grass, as the military guys like to say. Uh, place it in your feed tray. Close the top cover. This starter tab will hold it over for you. If you don't have one, you may have to hold the ammunition in place. So close your feed tray, it's good to go, and then you simply uh, charge the weapon. So on the full auto version, you'll charge it and the bolt will stay to the rear. On this one, you'll let the bolt go forward and you'll hear it go forward. And you'll typically see a link or uh, just a link or the starter link fall out the side. So there on this one, the round is chambered. On a full auto version, the bolt would be held to the rear by the sear and then you'd return the charging handle forward. I'm gonna go ahead and unload that real quick. So to unload it, lift up the feed tray, take your brass or your ammunition off the feed tray. Uh, on a full auto version, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, taking the round out of the chamber, but in this case, we gotta take it out. So there we go. And then you'll also want to inspect the chamber, of course, visually and physically. Uh, so, and the uh, one thing I should mention, how you can close the top cover uh, with the feed tray, or with the bolt for it, is this guy here. Uh, this actually will depress and allow the feed tray uh, track uh, to basically depress it. And then when you charge it, it falls into the track. Pretty neat feature. And then for loading with, say, a magazine, it's very similar. This is one of the features that some people like and hate about the 249. Uh, some people say it adds complexity. It is a neat little feature, though. To load a magazine, you simply insert it, like so, and then charge the weapon like you normally would. So a nice backup there for the M249. And this is your, this works as your magazine release, and it's your dust cover. Uh, pretty well designed uh, right there. I should say as well, your safety is right there. There it's on fire, there it's on safe. Um, and that's pretty much how to operate the M249 saw. Uh, like I said, uh, I like it. Um, mainly because it's well belt fed, uh, but also it's a pretty neat uh, mechanically. So I'll go through that real quick on how it functions and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so real quick on disassembly, of course, like any firearm, you wanna make sure it's unloaded. And then on this one, uh, you can leave the top cover open or closed, doesn't really matter. Uh, and this is actually very similar to the full auto. You've got a large pin at the rear. Try not to flag everyone. You got this large pin at the rear, you simply pop that out. And close this so it's not flopping around. Take your large pin, pop it. That gives you access. I can't make up my mind. You've got this uh, plunger right here. You depress this, bring it up, and there comes your recoil spring and guide assembly. Uh, from here, I can take out my bolt. That'll come straight out the rear. I'll take out my stock and pistol grip first. That comes straight out the rear. You've got your piston and your bolt. And this is the main thing I wanted to show you. This is basically a big AK-47. 
So there's your bolt if you've seen an AK, very similar. And then this differs from the full auto version in that there's no sear notch down here. Uh, there's a uh, striker assembly that hits that. Uh, piston up front, chrome plated, all that good stuff. And then up front, like any good belt fed uh, machine gun, you have a quick detach barrel. On the full auto open bolt, you need your bolt to the rear if you're gonna replace the barrel. Uh, in this case, I have the bolt out. Uh, on the semi-auto, you do have to retract to the rear and kind of use your third hand to take the barrel off. But with the uh, bolt assembly out, I simply depress this lever right here, lift the barrel up slightly and forward. And there's your entire barrel assembly. Of course, chrome lined, uh, and then you have your ga gas regulator uh, up front, and that would interface with your piston system and your bolt. That's the assembly right there. And then a further disassembly, you can take out your gas tube right here, just up front. There's your gas tube, and there's your bipod. And that's essentially field stripped. So that's the M249 and M249S from this edition from the vault.